In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up two-factor authentication uh, with QR codes in an ASP.NET Razor application with uh, individual accounts. And I've already created an application with individual accounts. This is using .NET 8. And all we're really going to do is walk through how to set up the QR code. And we'll look at some of the other ramifications of setting up um, 2FA and uh, requiring 2FA in another video. So in order to do this, um, I can run this application and I can actually see how 2F, 2FA is supposed to be implemented. So right now, um, if I log out, I was logged in, so I can log out and I'm just using a username and password right now and I go in here and I'm logged in. now. It's an ASP8 2FA example. That's just the name of my application. I've got home and I have privacy and I have logout. But don't forget this hello, um, scott at scottandpatty.com has my um, profile information on here. There's two factor authentication. And if I want to set up uh, two factor authentication, then I can go in here and configure the authenticator app. And it, this is the default stuff that's here. We'll obviously want to change some of this. But it says scan a QR code or enter the key. Well, it doesn't give you a QR code. So your only option right now is enter the key, which I guarantee you nobody wants to do. Um, so what they do is they give you this enable QR code generation. So I'm actually going to walk through this uh, right now and show you how to enable this. Um, so if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description here of how to get this page, or you can just click on the link um, as part of your page. So the process is actually pretty simple. The first thing we need to do is go download um, that link, which I did. I've actually got this uh, davidshimjs.github.io uh, QR code JS. And they ask you, hey, do you want to download this? So you can, you can download it there. And um, I have downloaded it. And it gives me a zip file and here it is uh, all the contents of the zip file so I I just need according to this I need the QR code.min.js and they say download the QR code library to the www uh, root lib so I'm gonna stop this application at this point because I don't really want it running and I've got a library right here and if I look at what's in it at the moment, I've got Bootstrap, jQuery, and all of this other stuff. And so what I really want to do is grab um, that and put it into to there. So I'm, I know this is happening off screen, but I'm going to grab this and put it into the library. And I will have the QR code min.js. And it's minified, so it's all in one Thing and you probably don't want to read that, so we'll close that right away. The next thing to do would be to actually scaffold the identity uh, account stuff. And so I, I could do that by going here, going to add, um, going to a scaffold, new scaffold item, and all I'd have to do is click identity and next and walk through that. Now, for the purposes of this video, I have scaffolded everything. Um, you don't have to scaffold everything. You just have to scaffold the enable authenticator.cshtml. But if you want to edit any of the other things, which I have done um, in other videos here, uh, you can go ahead and just scaffold everything. But be aware that any updates you do, well, they're not going to get updated to things that you have changed. So that's an important thing to consider. So in order to look at these, I'm going to go into areas and I'm going to go identity and I got to go to pages and account and manage. And I go down here to this enable um, authenticator app and then the code behind for that. So the first thing we need to do is locate the script section um, at the end of the CSHTML file. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom and here's my script section down here and it right now it just has this underscore validation script partial and we need to create a new script file called qr 
root.js and then www root.js and add the following code. So I'm going to back up, go over here to my JS file, and I'm going to add a new um, item, in this case, a JavaScript file. Um, JS, maybe that'll get it for me. Uh, JavaScript. There we go. And I, I just want to name this qr.js. Alright, so I've got a qr.js and I've got to go in here and say, um, in this case, I'm going to do window.add event listener. And what we're going to listen for is the load event. And we're going to create ourselves a simple little thing here that we have a constant URI, which is equal to the document dot get element by ID. And we're looking at like a QR code data. And we're going to do get attribute um, data dash URL. And I like semicolons, sorry. New QR code um, document dot get element by ID again. And we're going to do the QR code. Oops, comma. And we're going to put in a text, which is a URI, um, a width which is just going to be 150 and a height, which QR codes are square, so we're going to put that 150 and um, we're going to close that off there and we're going to close that off there. Okay, so um, this script just is going to do a little bit of finagling um, and we'll add some of these elements as we go through. So we update the script section to add a reference to our QR code. So we have to go back here um, to this one. And after this um, partial, we're going to have a script. And we're going to say type equals, of course, text slash JavaScript. And its source is going to be equal to tilde slash lib slash qr code dot js um, and then we have to do another one a script type equals text javascript and its source is going to be equal to again this tilde slash js slash qr dot js okay so we we first have to have the library code the qr code that we downloaded and um, I want to double check that that is what I, I think it is. It's qrcode.min.js. And I probably ought to change it to that. So we'll look at that. qrcode.min.js. And um, we can go ahead and delete the paragraph which links to the instructions on how to do that. So at this point in time, um, we can say, scan the QR card, enter this code, into your factory in spaces, and these do not matter, alert. Um, we can do this div, learn how to enable QR code. This I'm going to X out of there. Um, and <clears throat> now we need to change the site name in our QR code. So the site name in the QR code is taken from the project name you choose when initially creating your project. You can change it by looking at the generate QR code method in um, the areas, identity, pages, account, manage, enable authenticator, um, and we can look at the uh, CS file, so that's going to be this one. And we can look at the generate QR code URI. 
um, which is probably going to be down here. Wow, I should just drop this down. And it was going to be a generate, that one right there, it's at the very bottom. And uh, the default template gives us this current uh, authentication format, uh, Microsoft, uh, mail, and etc. formatting. The second paragraph in the call to string that format is your site name, taken from your solution name. It can be changed to any value, but it must always be URL encoded. So we can just change that. This just has Microsoft.ASP.CoreIdentity.UI right now. But we can name this anything we want. So I'm just going to name this 2FA example in Razor Pages. Um, dot net 8.0. And we'll just leave it to that. Um, and at that point, uh, I think we're okay. This is all that they say is required. So let's take a look and see if we need to make any more changes. So we'll run it. Pull this down here. So it's running. I can go to my login page, um, my profile page, and set my two-factor authentication. I can set up that authenticator app. And at this point, I should be able to run through and do this. So there it is. There's the authenticator app. So I'm actually going to try it. So I'm sorry I don't have a picture of my authenticator app. But at this point in time, I have a verification code that I can put in here to verify. And I'm waiting for its change, and it's going to change now to 795, 795, there's an odd one. And I say verify, and at this point in time it says your authenticator app has been verified. We have recovery codes for you. Put these codes in a safe place. So, um, you know, technically I would oftentimes just copy these and put them into my password safe. Um, of course, somebody can always call and ask to have something reset. Um, so there we go. My authentication app has been verified, and I can log out. And this time when I log in, and I log in with this, it asks me for an authenticator code. And so I put in a new authentication code and say, remember this machine, and log in. And now when I log out, and log back in and log in with my username and password it does not ask me for 2FA because I asked it to remember this machine so there we go we've set up 2FA um, this is optional 2FA so in the next video we'll look at how to set up mandatory 2FA hope you enjoyed